punch, what we tell him? Say? I hear me, Miss Munchie. Keep on the air, Munchie. Miss Munchie. Are you around the thing, so watch channel? You know me, I say Munchie. Come on, Munchie. Yell up, Munchie. What one, one, Munchie? <laughs> Regular massive welcome to a wonderful new episode of Wag One Winchy and I am lucky, really lucky, because I have such a wonderful guest by my side. It is the one and only the great Shaggy in the place. Wag One Shaggy, you're good? Blessings every time, man. Nice to be here, you know? Yeah. Thanks for joining Wag One Munchie. Um, you're here on a wonderful occasion. Out of many, one music is your brand new record that has just been released on September 24th. It has been produced together with Sly and Robbie. And I think not just that fact alone makes this record a very special record for you, right? Yeah, it's an incredible project. Um, it's a project that we, um, we started about two years ago. And... Um, you know, of course, Sly and Robbie, those these guys are legendary. They're 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 um, royalty, reggae royalty. So I just felt it was time. You know, I mean, you know, it's just a, a place that I am in, in in music, in life right now, in my musical journey. And I just feel like say, I just we just make a we make a, just a classic reggae album. That's all it is. You know, I mean, there's nothing more, nothing really super. You know, we're setting for any particular goal. We just want to make a, a classic reggae album. And it is a wonderful roots rocking deep reggae album. Um, how did you come up with the concept, or or what has influenced the the idea for for doing reggae for a change instead of the dancehall that you'd normally do with a poppy touch and stuff? Um, you know, we've always done a little bit of reggae here and there, but but I just felt like I've done everything so far, and I was like, you know, there's something else now, you know. You know what I mean? Okay. So, and I think there's there a time for reggae. I think people are back in, in the mood for it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, um, the, the dance hall has been making a lot of waves. So it just kind of makes sense. Yeah, definitely makes sense. Um, we're going to talk about this album a little bit more. As I said, it's already out on iTunes, Amazon. You can get it anywhere. Purchase it, listen it. It's wonderful. Um, uh, there are also some other records out there by now, by the French dubbing, for example. They put out Paradise, or the Austrian Iripati put out Auf Wiederhören, which means um, see you later. <laughs> so you can check them out as well. And our Spanish friend, surfer friend, Dr. Chando, from the beautiful island of Tenerife, he will put out his album on October 25th. It's called Saviduria. Shaggy, do you speak Spanish? No, no, not much Spanish at all, but, <laughs> I'll, I'll, but, but, uh, but I love the glue. Yeah. I like the global you outlook, you know? Places, yeah, yeah, the global right? outlook. I love it. Yeah, yeah man. Sabiduria, I, I Google it to be honest because I don't speak Spanish neither, but oh. uh, it means wisdom. So, um, can I offer you a little piece of this wisdom, like a little sneak peek from right, his man. newest video? Of course. All right, Check Dr. It out. Chando, Ningo Nombre. Y ningún nombre sabe lo que puede ocurrir. Puede el futuro predecir. Marcar mi camino a seguir Es tu destino El que solo vas a caminar Más bueno está siempre por llegar Un tema se lo sea no cruzar out of many one music that's the wonderful new record by this man right here the big man shaggy it is out as i said already since september 24th and still i must admit i can't get enough of this record i've been listening all day honestly and um i really love it what i really appreciate about you in general not just about this record but um you always feature many artists 14 guests are on this record. Um, great vocalists such as Taurus Riley, Tess Sanchin, Jimmy Cozy. Yeah. Um, how would you normally decide who to feature on a record? I normally do the song first and let the song dictate the collaboration. Oh, okay. you know I mean? So after a song is finished, I might say, well, this texture voice will work with it. Oh. And then, I'm, and then I'll, I'll call the artist, you know what I mean? So, okay. And then when I write, I let the, the, the feel of the music dictate the melodies. So when I come up with the melodies, it normally come up just because of the vibration and, and, and the feel that the music is giving me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So have you been together in the studio at the same time mm -hmm. with all those artists? With a few, with a couple of them. I think it, with the exception of probably Damian Marley and um, Peter Morgan and Neil. But everybody else we were... And Joe, Joe wasn't there either. But oh. everybody else we were in the studio okay. with. So how was the vibe like? Incredible, man! It was a good, good vibe. Um, especially with Chronics, you know, he came in oh, and was just, 
Sly and Robbie, so he was feeling the vibe and, you know, just got in. Of course, Taurus is always excitement, you know. Yeah. Conscience is good vibe too, you know. So, yeah. Um, was there anybody w that you said, okay, I'm, I'm longing to work with this artist for, for a long while that you were really looking forward to finally work with? No, that, that never really, it never really go like that to where I say I want to work with this or I want to work with okay. that. It just kind of let the music just kind of tell me where to go. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, and then yeah. I approach them and we just get it done. Mm. Some of the, um, especially lady vocalists that are on, on the album, um, are young artists that might not be um, that well known as yet um, wonderful voices such as Melissa, um, Samira or Kioma. Mm -hmm. How um, did you meet with them and how did you decide um, to, and, um, to put them on the record? Introduce me to them, please. Well, well our studios are located in New York, you know, so Ranch is a, is a very creative kind of place, you know. Okay. So we don't make music feel like it's work. We make it feel like it's fun, you know. Nice. So you'll find artists coming through on a regular. Some, some, a lot of them are new artists, you know. I, I like to think of when we did Hot Shot in, in 2000, we had Raven and Rick Rock, yeah, right, you know, which right. people didn't know who they were, but they yeah. became big artists and, you know, established. Their songs became massive. I want to keep that trend going to where, you know, nice. for instance, what is even happening with Tess and Chin now overseas right. is, 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 you know, it's, comes out of uh, of that what's happening with um with the, these are, are artists that are incredible artists and they bring something special to to to, sure. to the composition you know um with somebody like um Shamira she's such a young artist but you know it it somehow comes out of her effortlessly when you watch her sing it just comes out of her effort. you're wondering <laughs> where uh, such a big voice come from such a petite body you know yeah. um with somebody like Melissa Music, no, she is she's a vibes person, you know. She's always dancing, running jokes, giving it, and then she opens her mouth and you hear this soulful sound. Uh, with Chioma, no, is you get this person that is a chameleon, you know. Mm -hmm. She has so many different voices. You have to choose which one to go with, okay. you know what I mean. But that is her, you know. And uh, in one minute you you don't know if she's a pop star like a Beyonce. The next minute she becomes this really soulful eclectic kind of a, a vocalist mm -hmm. you know and these, these are just people trying to express their, um, themselves their artistic you know get an opportunity to let go of their artistic expressions you know wonderful, wonderful. Mm. so we must be looking forward to hearing more from from these yeah. sweet voices in the future we right? do we, and that's why we created Ranch Entertainment and Ranch Label you know we're gonna put songs out with these guys they all have individual songs even on the Barry Salmon Rhythm right now we had Samara have our own song out and um, there's a song with Jimmy Cozy and Melissa together which I think is a smash you know um, Jimmy's coming with another joint again too so it's just reggae and we're just gonna keep banging at it banging at it you know yeah. sound system we're, we're taking it back to the streets I don't really want the music to really rely on radio so much yeah. I want it to really rely on the sound systems and the streets and nice, the vibe nice. of the people so you, you'll find them with very heavy bass lines and very heavy drums yeah. just because you get that real street feel. You know, because radio, I don't think radio, there are not a lot of radio around right now to support reggae music. Oh, yeah. So it, it, I think it is useless for us if we're making true straight reggae music to cater for radio. Right. You exactly. know what I mean? Um, so let's cater for the streets. You know what I mean? Uh, and then the streets will dictate radio at the end of the day. You know, if you're going to make crossover type of reggae, then I guess, you know, radio will more play that. But mm -hmm. if you're doing reggae music, straight, yeah. Music yeah, right, and right. definitely have to go for the streets. Definitely. All right. And, um, yeah, speaking of the streets, that's that's a good word um, because somebody is doing the streets, actually. Not just you these days, but also Germany's big, big reggae artist, which is Jenkelmann. Um, yeah. He is gonna tour with the new day done album throughout europe but um let's ask gentleman himself what this is all about okay all right wagwan gentleman yes wagwan munchi you don't know say our tour just start you know in a keel excess amount of niceness guaranteed and you don't know say it's the new day done tour so don't miss it people please come to the tour don't miss none of the shows and you don't know say we tour all over europe and it's gonna be excess amount of niceness. And you don't know, say, we'll have music, we'll have fire, we are burn. And you don't know, say, October, November, December. Don't miss the anniversary show in Cologne at the 27th and the 28th of December. 
20 years, gentleman life on stage. You don't know what's going on. See you now. Boom. Me out. You're in. Thank you so much, gentleman. So, gentleman is touring and so is Shaggy. He is in the place. This is actually right here in Munich at Club Backstage at the Jamaican thing. The first show from the Europe tours. Are you excited? I'm excited because we haven't really touched the stage or rehearsed a couple of times. So, this is the first. You know, who knows how it goes tonight, you know. Yeah. They're still out there rehearsing, you exactly. know what I mean? There's, pe there's people in the venue and <laughs> rehearsing, yeah. so. They close the curtain. Yeah, they so close the curtain. And <laughs> yeah, so that's Sly and Robbie for you, you know. They got to make sure everything is right, so yeah. we're just going to feel it. Yeah, you mentioned the tour already, Sly and Robbie are on tour, but I'm, I think you brought a bug of people, right? Yeah. Who, who else is with you? Well, we got Jimmy Cozy here, too. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. You might want to introduce him to me. Yeah, later. man. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, Jimmy's here, and um, of course, Tony from Brian and Tony Gold Raven is here also. Yeah. And, um, yeah. you know, we have Linky Mars then from Duali Fame. I want yeah. to meet him too, please. Yeah, play. he's, he's <laughs> playing keyboards, and. Ah. Um, just the whole crew, yeah, the whole, whole massive. Lady, oh, well, we said Shamira already, so yeah, and <laughs> Shamira is here too, so yeah, yeah. we said her earlier, so. Yeah. So what can the fans expect from this tour? Um, just uh, just excitement. I mean, the, the good thing about this is is we'll feature songs from the new album, yeah. but you'll also get some great Sly and Robbie classics. You know, I mean, these guys are responsible for some of the biggest hits in in reggae. Um, certainly the pillar of of, of reggae music, and they um. You know, from the Black Aurora catalog straight to the Dennis Brown catalog, straight to um, probably even a couple of the No Doubt catalog, and you know, what I mean, the Sly Rabbit catalog. So there's, there's there's a lot of songs that these guys are going to going to play, and then you know, I'm gonna do a couple of songs from my catalog. You know, yeah. Raven going to do some songs from his catalog, and and then we'll come and do come together and then do some out of many one music songs so you know what i mean so it, it, it's 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 an experience yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to tonight most definitely but i'm um, telling me um there must be some shaggy classics that you could never miss performing what it, what what songs can i definitely look forward to tonight oh well look like the usuals you know you can't go without doing the doors of me's and angels and mr bombastics and songs like those you know a sexy lady and these songs are songs that comes with the territory you know people people come to hear these songs so you, you have to you have to do those songs no matter what all right so it's definitely something that we can look forward to and you can check the the, the pictures on regular later on you can check some some little live footage that we're gonna shoot but of course come to the shows check all the the dates on regular.com for for shaggy's um tour and as I said, Gentleman is on tour, Shaggy is on yeah. tour, Protege and the Indignation are touring Europe as well. So Reggaeville.com is the place where you find all the information. And this is also where you find all the information on the Steel Pulse tour that's going on. You want to check David Hines from well, Steel Pulse for one well, with him? For David every time. So Steel Pulse is, is one of the classics. And definitely. From definitely. So a whole patroon where the man there, we used to tour with them from back in 1990. I would say 93, 94 them time there. We used to do with the um, Spirit of Unity together back nice. in them days there. Nice. You know, probably even later than that, but yeah. That sounds wonderful. So yeah, you want to check David? Yeah, man. All you right. Go well, on, David. Yes, Monchi. We are on tour and we kicked off in Spain and now we're in France and we're going to be hitting places like St. Etienne, Nîmes, Dijon, Strasbourg, Nice and all the rest. And then we're flipping over to Hamburg and we're going to give Germany the test, yeah. We want everybody to be there because everybody's having a whale of a time. Open says I mean, here come Rasta man. Yeah, the Rasta man is coming, yeah. Endorse this message. So you can see everybody is on tour. Um, wonderful vibes are going on throughout Europe. You can catch enough artists. But of course, I have got to say something for the United States Massive as well, because they can check Soja. They are on tour. And of course, one place I have got to have it locked to is NBC and The Voice, of course, right? Because Adam's team is our team because that's Tessan's team, yes. right? Yes. So, and I know Shaggy, you have your little share of responsibility in this whole story as well, right? So, how did how did that happen? I mean, it was great, you know. Tessan has been an incredible artist for years. We are we in reggae, in the reggae fraternity, know of Tessan from day one, you know. But I just felt like with a voice like that, the world needed to be reintroduced to her, you know. So I just kind of suggested that. 
um, she gets a bit of, a bigger platform. She utilizes a bigger platform, and and the voice I thought was a good pr- platform for her, and she thought about it and went and went ahead and did it. And um, you know, the rest is history in the making right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. So keep it locked to NBC and watch the battles. And then, of course, once the live shows are on, call in for Tessan. Enough love. All the best. Um, if you, um, you know, Shaggy does not just support other artists, as we just heard. He also supports charity a lot, right? Um, you're involved. We were involved with the Rise Again for the Haiti Relief Fund for the song. Um, o- o- of course, you always have Shaggy and Friends, your show that supports the Bustamante Children's Hospital in Kingston. Um, d- do you think um, it is um, a... a, a responsibility for an artist to to do stuff like that or or how did you come up with the idea of of doing such projects well I just really came up with that because I went and visited it years before and once I was there I met a couple of doctors and nurses and realized these guys are miracle workers you know and and said to myself that if I was ever in the position of power position where I could make a difference I would and that that came in the form of hotshot and so for nine years I was doing it out of pocket trying to make a difference and then afterwards I decided to do a concert series every year um, yeah. with the help of sponsors and the support of the Jamaican government who went ahead and we do it, Shaggy and Friends and we did it every year this year we're trying to do it with Neo and myself and Tessan and with a couple more artists who went, we're going to add on it and you know hopefully have a great time you know what I mean and raise some, some well needed funds we've yeah. raised you know over two million US so far. We're now building a new cat lab, and so you know we c- will continue to do that. That is wonderful. Um, really, thank you so much. Not every time. If you want to also support charity, I also have a little suggestion of mine because, um, as you know, I'm part of Help Jamaica, help establish library projects in Jamaica. We support education, free education, library projects, and if you like my shirt, people then <laughs> you can buy this. Um, all, all revenues go straight to Help Jamaica or you can get a wonderful charity calendar for next year as well. So log on to helpjamaica.org. And as I said, thank you so much, Shaggy. It was really my pleasure. Respect every time. Um, all it. the best for the album still. It is a wonderful, wonderful record, really making my days for days now already. And all the best for the tour and enjoy yourself. Blessed love, no Thank respect. Thank you very much. And big up to Reggaeville every time. Definitely a place for all the info. See me? Reggae. Mad. What? What? Munchie?